What's up guys, welcome to another video. And this video is gonna be a little bit different and that I'm gonna go over uh, just a list of books that I think if you wanna get into pen testing, learning something about hacking, how to protect yourself against hacking because you know uh, what they're doing so you can look out for that and level the playing field, um, then this is the complete, which I think are the best books. And I'm gonna kinda go in an order too, uh, especially if you're just getting started. Um, I want you to kinda look at these books. I know it's a lot of reading, it's a lot of research, but if you wanna be good at this, you've gotta start from the square one and work your way up, okay? You can't just jump into it with hardly any knowledge or anything because you're just gonna get flamed and toasted and, and it ain't gonna work, it ain't gonna, well, it ain't gonna be pretty. Okay, so all these books, I believe are still available on Amazon. I will have a link if it is out there in the show notes. And if it's not out there, I'll try to have a link to like the author site or something, okay? Uh, I do have digital versions of a lot of these um, because they're searchable, but I also like the hard copy, so I can refer to it too. Um, I don't know, I just like the hard copy, okay? I, I used to work in a bookstore a long time ago and, uh, and I just have an, a, an affection for hard copy. Okay, so let's just dive right in. Here's three books right out of the gate. Okay, Kevin Mitnick. He's probably one of the most notorious hackers of all time. Uh, he has a lot of good books out, believe it or not. He actually owns his own pen testing and security company today. And if you want to get into it, Start with The Art of Intrusion, uh, one of his early books. Um, learn about it. These are real stories behind the exploits of hackers, intruders, and deceivers. Then also, look at The Art of Deception. This is the social engineering side of it. And this is uh, got a forward by Steve Wozniak. It's controlling the human element of security. Okay, so you want to be able to be good. There's multiple angles to get in to do things and pen test and track. And the human is the weakest link, okay? You can social engineer them into a lot of different things. Clicking on links in malicious emails, calling in and getting information, um, you know, that you played from like a help desk or something, or even just an operator. Just depends on what you're doing, okay? So, the art of deception. Then the Art of Invisibility, which is one of his newest ones. The World's Most Famous Hacker teaches you how to be safe in the age of Big Brother Big Data. Um, so there's three really good ones from a really known uh, hacker out there that you know did, did real jail time uh, and stuff. So start with those. It's going to give you kind of a good insight into ways that it's been done uh and the social engineering side of things which is an important part of it got to have that not just the technical skills but you got to have the social engineering part then move on okay we're going to move on you don't have to read all these but if you want to check into them glass houses uh a privacy security and cyber insecurity in a transparent world is actually a pretty good read um this is by joel brenner uh, again, this kind of gives you a little background on what businesses are worried about today, uh, cyber security, not only in the government sector, um, but like here says, should be required reading on Capitol Hill in the West Wing. Uh, this is talking about, you know, cyber warfare, basically, and it's an eye opener, so it's good. So you kind of get... Logist. You're doing some intro level stuff here, okay? Then I'm going to move on to hacking. Computer Hacking Beginner's Guide, How to Hack Wireless Network, Basic Security and Penetration Testing, Kali Linux, Your First Hack. Okay? This is a pretty decent book um, to just check out uh, and get started with, especially if you're a beginner. Now, if you're not a beginner, stay, stay tuned. I'm going to have the technical stuff, okay? So, those are what I would consider nice entry level to start your your, your reading and, and getting into it okay so then we're going to actually move on to some more technical stuff okay so here we go these here not really a read but something you're going to want to have in your arsenal especially as you get started with the more detailed books that are actually going to be like how to do what and this and that these things depending on what team you want to learn more about red team is known as an offensive team so basically they're attackers ok 
Okay, so if you want to learn more about how the attacks are done, these actually have nothing but like great uh, stuff for like databases. These are just commands, tips and tricks. It's not really a reading, it's just kind of a library of good stuff. Okay, and that's from an offensive point of view. If you're a blue team and you want to be more of a defender, then this is the, the guide for you. And again, it's just tips, tricks, commands. These are actual commands for all sorts of stuff. Uh, and it's got a nice table of contents in here, so you can look this up. Uh, Alan White and Ben Clark on that one. And then this one, uh, I believe, Ben Clark. So this is version one. So these aren't really reads. They're just something you need to get. Be prepared. These are got great commands in them. You can actually go through once you've got your lab or your machine set up and go through some of those commands if you want to learn some of them, see what they do. Then we're going to go into the Hacker's Handbook. Now this is over 100,000 copies sold. Includes tools, techniques, threats, protecting your system, cyber crime, cyber war, iPhone, iPad info, and myth busting. So another really good one to kind of get you a little bit further. And this one is by Dr. K. Alright, and this actually says 4th edition. I don't know if there's a newer version of this, but uh, definitely a good one to have. Then, I'm going to start being a little more... Let's move on to Hacking Exposed 7. This is a thick one, okay? It's a big read. This is probably, I think, the most recent version, even though this is a couple years old now. Uh, Network Security Secrets and Solutions. It's a McGraw-Hill publication. Got several different authors, but it's a really good book to go through. And you can see there's actually code and all this kind of stuff uh, that is exposing what network security secrets and solutions. So it's a pretty good book. All right. Now let's move on to some more technical details. These would be good to learn as you go depending on the tool set you decide to use. In-map network scanning, okay? In-map, you're gonna learn. This is a tool that uh, pen testers, hackers use to do network penetration and stuff like that. Um, part of the Kali Linux, uh, I don't actually have a book here on Kali Linux, but um, I'd recommend if you're gonna use Kali Linux, you could get a book on it. But in-map, definitely one. You don't have to get it. What I recommend. Wireshark 101. If you're going to want to learn, if you're going to capture packets and you're going to do that kind of stuff, uh, then this is Wireshark's a, a, an open source tool that can do good network captures. This book is a great resource to teach you how to read PCAP capture files. Okay? Good stuff. So I highly recommend that. Again, you don't need to. If you want to jump into some of these and skip them, perfectly fine. This is just kind of my suggestions. Check out Wireshark 101. Now, probably one of the best series that I highly recommend getting into, and there's three versions of it now, the Hacker Playbooks. Alright, the first one, this is by Peter Kim. This is just the first Hacker Playbook. Practical Guide to Penetration Testing. Okay, awesome. Moving on, the Hacker Playbook 2, Practical Guide to Penetration Testing. And this isn't just a repeat of stuff from the first one. This is updates, new exploits, all sorts of stuff. Recently released within the last few months, the Hacker Playbook 3 Red Team Edition. Okay, Practical Guide to Penetration Testing. Again, this is within a couple months. This is the number one book out there right now on cybersecurity, pen testing, cybercrime, that kind of stuff. Definitely check out the Playbook one, two, and three. Okay, and, and I just take them in order. I start with one, two, and three. This teaches you how to build a lab, teaches you how to use different tools out there to do your own uh, testing. You're going to learn a lot through this, so I highly recommend it. If you want to get in a little bit deeper, you can do hash crack. This is about password cracking. It's a manual on password cracking, and uh, it's a small read, and it's got some pretty good uh, examples of how to crack passwords not only on Windows but on Linux and stuff like that so good stuff so those are some books that I highly recommend now you can see back here on my backdrop I just put up a couple tools that are out there uh, you start picking your tools 
uh, you get books specific to those. This is like the Hack 5 Field Kit. Um, this is the Wi-Fi Pineapple uh, manual. This is the Bash Bunny manual. And these are little tools, much like this, that you can use to, you know, this is a man in the middle. Plug this in between two network destination and endpoints, and then you can sniff traffic on it. But you gotta have that Wireshark 101 to understand what you're getting out of that packet capture. So, you see, it all kind of comes together. So anyway, guys, this is just a quick uh, introduction, and if you want me to continue these kind of series, I'll dive in deeper and we'll do some demonstrations and stuff, not only with different tool sets, uh, I can do labs, I can go into individual tools that are like these, and show examples of how they work and stuff like that. If you like that, comment in the, in the comment section, like this video, subscribe to the channel, we'll do more of this kind of stuff. Check the show notes for links for all these that I can find out there. Uh, I'll try to, if there's a newer version, I will list that. And I might even put a couple examples like Kali Linux um, to throw out there, Metasploit, stuff like that, if there's a couple books. I haven't really gone through too many different books on those. I'm kind of, uh, you know, self-tied on a lot of them, and so I never really invested in books in them. They're really tool-specific, too. Once you select the tool that you want to do, you know, get the book for it if you want, and learn the tool inside and out, and that'll really help you out. The rest of these are just general learning. You've got to get your skills up on the social and technical side of things before you can dive in and do this kind of stuff. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you want more of this kind of stuff, we'll go down that uh, path and definitely check it out. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and have a good one. Thank you.